YouTube. I think I've sorted the sound out now. Turned out the mic for the that was built into the computer was on as well as the one on the camera, so it should be all right now. I hope. We miss. We a, leave a comment. Never said that before. Yep. Yeah, so this one's mine. Not up for sale just now. This is a Washburn Force Three from 1982, made by Yamaki, I think. It's had some mods made over the years. The bridge just now is a Telecaster bridge with sort of um, flathead screws, bits and sort of, it's like a knurled barrels. That's a Seymour Duncan pickup, that one. That pickup is, I don't know, and that one I think is original to this guitar. If you look, there's uh, right about here on the scratch plate, there's three holes or six holes, one, two, three, one, two, three. And I think at some point this guitar's had three Telecaster bridge pickups in it, which must have been mad. Yeah, so I got it. That's a phase switch for the middle pickup. So obviously when you reverse the phase, it only works in position two when you've got these two on and in position four when you've got these two on to do something. That was disconnected, but I just reconnected it. I've not really done anything to it myself. Um, I had a sort of outline here, you see these two screw holes? For a Washburn Wonder Bar, which if you've not seen one of them, I don't think I've done this guitar yet since I fixed it. Uh, this isn't a Washburn, but that's a Washburn Wonder Bar tremolo. It's like a, a big. Look at the, the it's got rollers and stuff. It's <laughs> yeah, so they 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 kind of flat mounted fit on the front, but looking at the back of this guitar, where the strings through. They look very much like the original ones, which would be on some of the other guitars I've got. So I reckon this at some point, has, when this was new, it had a hardtail bridge, like a power, uh, what's it called, a harmonic lock bridge or something like that. Hardtail and then strap pickups with a reverse phase in the middle. Yeah, so got the original Washburn tuners. The neck is the best ever though. You can't, you're not going to see it here, but it's a very, it's quite a steep V shape, and even more to the point, it's not, it's not symmetrical, so it's like the V is kind of, the peak is there, which means that when it sits in your hand, you know, your hand being that sort of shape, you don't notice it immediately. Immediately when you first play it, you go, oh, it's sort of V shape, but what that, what that means is it makes it feel very thin when you're playing, but it's not. It's fat here, but it's thin when you're playing, you know, depending on where your thumb is, but it works really well, and the more. You play it the more you start going oh it's pretty amazing the way the neck's just that wee bit you can kind of put your thumb on top of it like that it's great yeah i think enough raving about the neck i think it's, it's one piece as well as soon as i saw the skunk stripe in the advert i was like oh i don't think washburn are the sort of people that put fake skunk stripes in you know it's got skunk stripes in the back got a very high neck access as well but this the if you look at where the neck bolts go Obviously the neck comes away in, away in here somewhere before it's bolted on. So it's kind of a semi neck through getting towards and being neck through type thing. Yeah, mm -hmm. so it's had mods on it. So this isn't what the original one would sound like, but well, the neck pickup is, I reckon, anyway. So it's the neck pickup. <laughs> Yep, 
and so in, in the three middle positions, the phase switch will have an effect. So there's it in phase. <laughs> And then the other phase one, the middle doesn't make any difference because all you're doing is reversing the pickup. It needs to be out of phase with another pickup to put the difference. So when you put it into these two on. Normally you have to get round behind but this one you can actually get. What's that? 15th? 17th? Like up to the 20th without even stretching. I think with a wee bit of practice I could probably get up there as well. See, it's got a bullet truss rod as well, which is the best kind of truss rod by miles because you can actually see where the Allen key goes. Whereas normally, when you've got the ones that's away down in, in the bottom, you're kind of looking in, you can't see what it is, it's always full of fluff and rust. And someone's put the wrong Allen key in and destroyed it. And that's a good point, actually. Uh, that happens a lot of times. I buy things that someone's had a go at adjusting the truss rods, but you get metric and imperial Allen keys. and Sort of 70s Japanese or 80s Japanese stuff it might be I think it might actually be something else but it's closer to Imperial so a lot of uh, people think they've got I was actually talking to a guy the other day on Facebook with uh, oh god I can't even remember which kind of guitar it was no nah, it was a Japanese guitar I've got and he was saying his, his, he couldn't his grub screws that were holding, adjusting the saddles were all you know worn away he couldn't adjust them the, the Allen key was just spinning and I suggested it was the other one that turned out that's what it was, so he was going to buy a new bridge. He didn't have to, just in case they're using the right one. But it's, it looks kind of the same size, but it's just that wee bit. Different. Yep, so I'm absolutely loving this guitar. It's the one piece neck is just lovely, and it's just the more you I play it, the more I notice the triangularness of the neck and the fact that it's not it's asymmetrical. It's great. It's actually giving me some oof to. This is a Washburn Force 4 I bought in a terrible state, I'm not going to hold it up long, but it was in a terrible state and I've sort of half fixed it, but not done it yet, but it's also got the triangular neck, and it's the same sort of thing, so I'm quite looking forward to having the two of them working. I kind of lost interest in that one, but I just bought this one kind of almost by mistake. My pal thinks it looks like it's a Fender Lead 1 copy, it's not, it's, I kind of sort of see where it's coming from, it's not quite, it's sort of, I'm never really that amazed with the shape to be honest. Compared to the wing and the, the stage series, which this is at the same time, this is just a, a bit a bit boring. Kind of looks like I'm sure there's a Yamaha bass that's quite popular that looks very much like this. So there we go, eighty two. 
washburn four steam yeah and it wasn't even until i bought this one that i realized oh four three my dad's got a four three boat and then I thought back to about a month ago when I bought the Force 4. I bought the Force 4 and I never even noticed. Rocket! <laughs>